Alright guys, welcome back to Into the Bleach, Breach, whatever, and we're gonna do another run. I have a lot of runs to go while we're, after this one, it's gonna be like halfway through, so it's actually not so bad. So I actually really haven't played this for about a week, I just recorded like the last two that you saw, two runs that you saw like back to back. So what was it now? It's like the 9th of March, so it's been like two weeks since this game came out. So I just kind of didn't play it for a week because I was doing some other stuff, but I like recorded a bunch of stuff ahead of time, so... That's how we roll, so, uh, I mean, we're, we're going with this squad anyway, so. So I might be especially terrible. So I need to learn what these guys do. So there's the electric wet whip guy, which I kind of understood this, where he hits everybody here. And I think he's a lot of the damage here. Um, there's not much else to say about that guy. This guy, though, this is the thing I'm really interested in. Now, I... Now, it looks like I can just grapple things towards me. I'm not sure if I get to move again, because look at this, I just get to keep grappling shit. Is that what I do? Is I just grapple things until I'm done? I, I, I mean, that's going to be worth some experimentation. And then there's this guy. And this guy, as far as I know, just knocks people around. Maybe that's not how it works. I think you only get one. So it's two damage on the one that you hit. And everything else moving around. So I can kind of tell. I think I understand the play style. It's going to be um, trying to group them together to do the lightning mech stuff. So I'm actually kind of curious on how this actually works out. I have no idea what order I did this in before. But uh, whatever. So let's see here. I kind of want to head towards that way. I don't really want to do this one. Alright, so defend artillery support, protect the power generator. Alright. That guy. Why did my music appear to go away? I mean, I still have music on. Alright, I am super curious about this one. Ah, oh, good, the pod. Alright. So, what's the passive bonus this guy gives? Heals, okay. Uh-huh. I mean, you could probably just kill this guy right off the bat. So, let's try something out here. So, do this and pull him over here. So, okay, so it is only one turn. Interesting no, though. Oh, I can't really get that guy. But I can get this guy. It, oh, it hurts him! Huh. Alright. Okay, so it doesn't affect the buildings at least. Action available, oh really? I didn't realize you were available. Well, you can't really do anything, so... Alright, pretty interesting shit. All right. So, so here's the thing. So it pushes the two tiles away like that. So if I go like this, I can push him onto that tile and bring this guy over here. He will die next turn. And this guy, I'll just bring him down here. Although I could hit, I don't think I should. Actually, well, let me do that move. Let's take that thing and just end the turn. So it actually makes a rock. Oh, okay. I guess you get they get to come out anyways. All right. So I'm making this really easy for me in a, in a lot of ways. But you see, it's going to hit the guy in the back there, so I have to be very careful. So let's just kind of have a look around here. So all of these three guys are going to die. This guy is not though, but I can definitely hurt him like that. That's actually really fucking cool. You know, I didn't even use the artillery last time. And I guess we just wait here. Kind of a, kind of a cool squad, actually. Not so, not so bad. Alright. Oh, well, we could just get this guy right away. Zip. There we go. Perfect, perfect round. 
got them all. Archive will be pleased. Alright, not so bad. We even get the time pod too. Repair drop. Heal all player units, including disabled mechs. Alright. Interesting. So I guess we'll give it to the boulder one. It doesn't even need anything either. It's kind of nice. Alright, we're going to give our movement to this guy right here. He's kind of the one I kind of deem more important. And also he's going to need the double shot eventually. But not required right now. Alright, take less than three grid damage. Protect the coal plant. Alright. Uh, the the playstyle becomes more interesting just because of the fact that it affects um, things I didn't expect it to. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so we can just push this guy back, so that's pretty easy. Now, I have to be careful here because I can't just electroshock him. See, I can't just pull him over because if I just, like, it's it, it's a weakness I didn't take quite take into consideration. Because if I just pull him towards me, then this guy's attack will actually hurt him too. So, what's actually a, probably a better idea is probably to do something like this. Push this guy over there. And then we move these guys over here. Like that. And the only thing I didn't take into account is the fact that this guy is over here now. Whoopsies. Ah, uh, because the rock appears. Uh huh. Maybe we should uh, reset this turn. And I can't really move that guy over there. Thing is, they will die in one hit. I just have to get a good angle on them. Maybe something like that, and it's dead. No, because I can't. I can't do that either. Undo that move. So putting it over here made it so I couldn't hook that guy anymore. Uh, so we can't do that. So we have to move this guy in another way. Uh, that seems okay. Seems much better. There you go. And we simply come down here and hook this guy over. Alright, that's that's a little bit better. I'm just getting used to these guys, so just relax everyone. If I make mistakes, then mistakes are definitely made. Alright. Now, we don't seem to be in much of a position to bring everybody over, but... Cause especially because this guy can't move with that little attack. And I don't think he can even really damage him. So maybe what we'll do... Okay, I have, I have the plan here. So this guy's gonna come here, pull that guy away. And we're gonna kill this guy with him. And I'd probably just knock him away with the rock. Just surprised this doesn't damage the buildings. Huh. Yeah, that's the play. This is leaving a lot of uh, enemies open here. Which is something I don't like. I I'm trying to block them, but you know. Alright. I got the distinct impression I'm not liked very much. Alright, so... I could just sit here and repair him. I mean, he's... I don't think he's... He, he, he can live, actually, from this. So, that's not really the problem. But I don't think I can really knock him over, because this guy can come over here and hurt him, but I can't really zap that guy. Now, here's the thing I could do. I could do this. But it's going to hurt that building. Huh. Uh, did I actually move him anywhere? No, I did I, I I didn't move him yet. I mean, I could just do this. It knocks that guy on top of that one. Not a bad idea, actually, to be honest. Because, like I said, this guy will live, so... But I'm blocking that one, actually, so maybe he won't live. No target available. Uh-huh. He actually will die from this. It didn't occur to me, but he's actually still blocking one of the things over here. But I, I already used my reset and stuff. I forgot he was actually still on top of one. 
It's a shame he actually doesn't have any other better... I mean, okay, the grappling hook is okay. He could have maybe grappling hooked himself out. Or units to the mech. Well, a little late for that. I guess we're just losing that guy. I mean, this guy can't do anything. Come on, grid defense. <laughs> Work on mechs now. Oh, wait, no, he's got hardened. Alright, I'm not even going to pretend like I knew that. Like, obviously I didn't know that. But wh why did I misinterpret that? Why does he have hardened? Why... Alright, guys. I am most definitely confused here. Alright. Well, we can get rid of some of these guys. What happens if we rock this? It just pushes him back. I mean, we only have to really wait. I mean, I just, I don't really think we should do anything, honestly. So it just says no target available, so I can't actually do anything with this. And I, and I to be perfectly honest, I don't really want to electroshock everybody, so... If this is all they're gonna do, we just wait then. All right, I gotta figure out why that happened because uh, I won't lie, I, I, I didn't think that, that would work. I, I actually thought he was dead. You can, if he's on a shield, it gives him, uh, gives him a shield. Building chain, a plus one damage. So there's no way to make it like not work against enemies. All right. As far as I know, that shouldn't have happened. Like, it hasn't been that long since I played this that... I... I'm... Why is he... Yeah, he, he just has the status on him. Why? trying to press the control to set, like have it hover on there but I, I actually it won't tell me oh here we go natural armor it must be a stat on this mech itself I I actually didn't know that the mechs could have this sort of thing because like okay let, let's just try something science guys I'm gonna remove the pilot he still has it All right. I mean, I, I I guess I guess that's how it works. I I won't lie. As I said, I, I didn't think that. I think he, I thought he would have been gone, but whatever. All right, another train defense one. Alrighty. Actually, I should have moved him further back. All right. That's the thing. I kind of would like to electro shock him, but I don't know. So what happens if I do this? I mean, it'll get rid of him, but I think I should elect. I think I should do it this way. It won't get rid of the thing that he has on it. Actually, what order do they go in? Oh no, no, no! That won't work. Yeah, that won't work. I forgot it's a horizontal movement ability. Okay, I, I think I think we have to. Okay, so I think we got to get rid of this guy. But the thing is, I yeah, you know what? Let's ignore this guy because he's got hardened. All right, let's focus on clearing that guy so he can move away and deal with something else. Oh, like I just can't do anything with him. He needs another attack. All right, we gotta get that train out of the way. Unfortunately, I think it's gonna just get electroshocked, isn't it? I, I am kind of curious about this. How does this work? 
Uh, the train's gonna get hit. But I mean, is there really a good way of saving this? Because like the first turn I wasn't able to do much, and this turn I don't think I'm able to do much. It depends if I can get them to attack each other. Which this guy's one HP. Because here's the thing: this is gonna hit the train. But I don't think we—I I, just—I don't think we can defend the train unless we get some really sweet angle on something here. I just don't see how this is possible. It's mostly because this guy, no matter what, is going to hit the train. There's, there's, there's actually no case where I can move two of them away and then. I mean, what, what orders the NPC actions is five, so. Unless I can get him to kill something else or something along those lines, uh, this isn't happening. Especially because of the fact that they just do one damage each. Uh, so knowing this, I think the only there's only one course of action that's just to try and take out as many of them as possible. I think I have to move this guy out of the way then. Because, like as I said, I don't have the kind of units where I can do three actions, and this thing... Like, I think I think he really needs. I think he had an upgrade to make buildings immune. I'm not sure if that counts for that thing. It probably doesn't. But it really is some horrible decisions here from that I have to make. I guess he's gonna just have to move over here. Wait, the train's fine. Oh wait, no, it's damaged slightly. It's a damaged train. No, it's just it's just done. Defend the damaged train. I see we get one point now. Okay, I didn't understand how that worked. Yeah, you can't really do anything here. Action available. Yeah, just go heal yourself. Fine. So no no perfect run here, I guess. This, this mech, unfortunately, seems kind of bad for this. Or maybe I'm bad, I don't know. Uh, yeah, just fucking shock this guy. Yeah, I guess we're good. I don't have, I don't really know what to do with the, I, I, like, the hook mech seems good for, you move people into position for stuff, but you can't really move them into position and then use your lightning attack on them, he needs some HP to be able to to do anything about that. It's very anti-synergy, I would say. That's, it kind of bothers me in some ways. Alright. I mean, I get it, you're supposed to move people into positions where they attack each other. I also understand that much. Fuck, can I even... They go into the, like, the ideal position to fuck me over. <laughs> uh, I, I can move that guy out of the way, but I don't think I can really do anyone else. So I can do this. Move him out of the way with the rock. And the rock's kind of in the way, too. I mean, there's not much else for me to do here. Closer, I guess. I don't know. I think I think the spawn locations kind of sucked here. Oh well. Oh, luckily, the, luckily this is all completely blocked off too, so that's kind of nice. All right. Here's the thing. I don't know if I can really do anything here because this is gonna shock this thing too. This is definitely one of my least favorite mechs. Like, what the fuck can I even do here? One sec, how, can I go over here? Yeah, fuck it. I, I, I can't do anything with this fucking loadout. Fuck this shit, honestly. Whatever. He's gonna die next turn anyways. I need to give him something else, or some HP or something, because this is like the like this this guy is the biggest problem. He doesn't he's not able to do anything. 
because he just gets to hook people in and shit. Alright. Uh... No. Like this guy- well, he can actually move himself, so that's okay. Alright, and then he can just shock these two, but one of them is still gonna be up. So we need to deal with this guy, so... It's not like he's gonna die, it's fine. Only had two turns. Like, it, it, it may actually just be me not understanding something that about this. I feel kind of bad, because this, this one was like a, a bust in some ways. I, I just, I didn't have any upgrades to work with here, but... Knowing what I know now, building chain. Oh, you can you can cause it to chain through buildings without taking damage. I guess that's the point. And we don't have any more power really to do that, or do we? Actually, maybe that's worthwhile to do. As much as I like movement, I'm gonna just say just because there's so much here, or whatever. Thank you, humble bundle. I gotta shut up my email someday. Alright, so this guy, at least we can move him really effectively with that guy. I just need movement on him. Alright, so he's gonna do some things here, so... Easiest thing I can think of, block your own tile. Alright, this guy, easiest thing I can think of. Hit them both. And then pull him over so he's not attacked. I guess he's just not gonna do any damage ever. Alright, what order does this happen in? Okay, he's first, so that's good. Cause I wanna I wanna pull him up here, which means I need to move this guy around. So he's gonna kill that for me. I mean, I could just handle this guy on my own, honestly. I would have liked to fucking hit something with this guy, but I don't know. I don't know. I think this guy just doesn't do anything with his turn, honestly. Cause like, what what can he do? Nothing, so. I'm not really damaging this guy, that's the one problem I have. Fuck, everyone's healed. Alright. Alright, the lack of mobility, once again, is not doing me any favors here. Uh, in fact, it may have just killed this guy. Like, I can't move to get this guy. This guy literally cannot go anywhere. Uh, I'm not sure, honestly, about this one. I can't say I'm sure. My, and the, plus, this thing on top of that is getting hit pretty hard. Actually, no. Yeah, because there's, there's absolutely nothing I can do about this passive guy. I can't pull this guy away. And I can't move anybody around. Like, I, like, this guy does only two damage. There's no way he can hurt any- actually, he can do this. The only thing we can do. I- I literally cannot figure out a better way of doing this. 
Right, we could use the heal everybody. Let's try and damage him a little bit so we can at least kill him next turn. So at least we get some bonus objective out of this. Oh boy. Alright. Alright, constantly, I cannot move through things. I want to, like, this guy can't do anything at all. Because here, this is what I want to do. I want to, I want to get, I want to electroshock everything here, but that's going to kill him. It's one of the best things I can think of is just to do this. Alright, this guy, what can he do? Nothing. Well, actually, I can move him back, at least. So we have a path now to at least prevent damage. So let's do that, at least. Oh, I can't stop him. Well, it wasn't, I think, gonna work any other way. Kinda, I'm, I'm, I'm honestly, this is probably one of my least favorite, uh... Loadouts. I'm not sure if it's. It might be because I'm just not understanding what you're supposed to be doing. Um, but whatever. I'm gonna complete the run. I'm at like a. So like, if you, you can tell me stuff to do, and maybe I'll try them again at some other point. But I'll, I'll keep playing with them. Maybe I'll figure it out. I don't know. Let's see. Passive effect. Ball effect take plus one damage. Oh, that's kind of nice. Shrapnel cannon. Shoots a projectile that damages and pushes the targeted tiles left and right. That's pretty good. I like that one. Auto shields. That seems pretty OP. Alright. I'm just gonna try both of these. Which, which means I have no more reactor, but that's okay. Reactor is overrated anyways. Apparently so overrated I'm not even gonna power this cannon. Fuck. <laughs> uh, I, I did like this passive too, but eh, fuck it. Alright, we're just gonna get reactor points on the next island, I think. We're just gonna hope really hard that we get uh, fucking passives here, so. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, peace out, and I'll, I'll keep trying these guys, so. Uh, bye. As welcome back to Into the Breach, and uh, this game's a jerk. There's no reactor stuff, so we're just stuck with what we have. All right, oh, fuck this guy. All right. Well, let's figure this out. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Well, <laughs> what's the passive bonus we're getting? Uh, all of damage is reduced, so we kind of have to deal with it. I don't have much I can do here. Can this guy do anything? No, he's worthless. I mean, it's a nice thing I gave him a weapon that he just simply can't use for a while. And I thought buildings were, no, buildings are not immune. Okay. Alright, so this guy's gonna deal with that. Let's just, let's just accept this fact. I don't know who's gonna deal with that. It certainly can't be him, because he's not doing enough damage. I, 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 like, this guy is completely worthless. All that's gonna happen, I can tell you right now, is I'm just delaying things. Like, I want to deal with this guy. So this guy has an artillery thing to deal with him. But, I, like, there's nothing I can do about that. And... 
How much damage did I do? Three. That's, that's horrible. <laughs> alright, alright. All shields gain a shield. Okay, you know what? It's time to see if that actually works. And unfortunately, uh, we just completely fucking lost. This is the single most anti-synergetic squad I've ever seen. I do not know how I'm supposed to play through this one. I mean, the lack of movement is certainly killing me. Can you do anything at all? No, there's just, there's nothing I can do. What the fuck? I, I literally have to tell you, I do not want to play with these guys anymore. <laughs> no, I didn't even gain the shield. And also, that passive also makes no sense on what it does. Alright, let's have a look at this. The buildings gain a shield after taking damage. And it shows a picture of some Vec punching it, right? But that doesn't happen. They take damage and they just die. Is it with grid defense? I mean, that's the only thing I can think of. Alright. Well, what order does this happen in 6? Alright, so... You know, I, I, don't, I, I don't even like these guys that much. It just... The lack of synergy between all the units is like... Like, you know what, I'm actually, I'm just gonna upload this as one episode, actually, I just decided, I did some kind of, I did my regular cutting out portion and stuff like this. But, I don't even want to play these guys all the way through, to be perfectly honest. Uh, I mean, the beginning may not have been the best, especially since I didn't react to them. Uh, that was probably one of the mistakes, but, um... I don't, I don't know about these guys. I, I would actually prefer to, to hear from people. Uh, about this one before I continue that. So we're actually gonna just abandon the timeline. Yeah, rage quit, whatever, I don't, I don't give a shit. So let's, uh, let's stop this one actually. I'm done with that one. Because I actually completely do not understand what they expect you to do with this. See, this one's kind of weird because they, they kind of show off like you doing two actions, right? And maybe you were allowed to do that. Maybe that's what I did wrong. I banned in the time limit anyways. I, I just I just assumed I wasn't allowed to. Okay, you know, I, I'm just gonna I'm gonna go into an actual thing and I'm gonna try that out. Maybe 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 that's what I was doing wrong. One sec. Let's just let's just go in for a sec because I'm actually curious about that. Maybe that's what maybe that's what I was doing wrong. Because I'm just reading more into this now. I don't think I really had an opportunity to ever do that. All right, all right. Let's 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 see what happens here. So, if I go hook this guy in, he's disabled. So why do, why does the video show something entirely different to what I expected to do? Because I can't move him. I can't do anything. He's he's just done. I guess that's the weird thing. You know, I like. Is it is that an upgrade for the hook? No, the hook does an ally shot. The hook doesn't like. I was just gonna look at this. It does. It's just shield ally. Maybe, maybe it's you. You get one action to bring someone in, and then it. And because I didn't have it beside a building, I was supposed to. Uh, maybe I'm supposed to position him beside a building. Okay, that's the only other thing I can think of. And if that's not actually the case, I give up. Uh, so let's just do something like. this. I, I don't know, man. <laughs> I, I, just, I'm just, I just, I just want to see this, actually. I'm, I'm genuinely curious, because obviously I just gave up on that timeline. Alright, all right. so so this is this is what the thing shows me, alright? So it says I'm able to hook him in, and then I'm allowed to hook into a building. Is this not, does that not count? 
Alright, let's try this. There's a building right here I can hook onto. No. Because you can see how, like, in the video, he's hooking the enemy, and then he hooks onto a building. But I'm not allowed to do both in one turn. Which is greatly... Um, making me un misunderstand what the whole point of this, this party is. All I know is that, like, I keep getting fucked on every objective because this guy's laser thing kills my own guys too. And I can't make it not work on enemy, uh, not work on uh, my own allies. It's ridiculous, actually. Anyways, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna assume I don't understand them, and that I'm just, they're just not clicking with me. So, yeah, a little bit of longer episode, but um, uh, yeah, we we tried them and we didn't like them. So that's all we can say. So we'll just unlock. I don't know. Uh, let's see. What does it say these guys are doing? Uh, so. They're, they're supposed to be designed around mass destruction capabilities of Harness Lightning. Yeah, good luck with that. I mean, why is there a guy throwing a rock? That's like the least rock... That's like fucking like Geodude versus Pikachu. Come on, man. Alright. Well, we're gonna do the Steel Jakuda or whatever the fuck these guys are. That looks kind of cool. But uh, we'll do this next time, so take care, guys. Goodbye.